Hey, you. Yes, you sitting in that randomly placed little rocking chair, which, as we can clearly see, is right next to that beautiful stove in this wonderful kitchen. Yes, we're going to be introducing a new segment today. This new segment is going to be about cooking. You know, cooking goes back all the way to the Neolithic age, where... And yes, the Romans were known to bake bread, as we have seen, because in Pompeii, when Mount Vesuvius exploded, some bread was actually fossilized. Did you know that many people were actually turned into ash at that time? And as we well know, in World War I, the Kaiser used to enjoy a delicious roll, a biscuit of sorts, made with lots of yeast. Can you please stop? Oh, okay. I guess I'll just go away. Wait, 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 wait. no, no, no. Are you going to tell me something? Anything? I mean, I guess. Actually... First, let's cue the intro. You don't have one of those? Don't worry, I'll handle that. No problem. Anyways, have you ever wanted to know how to cook? Well, what's stopping you? Could it be this? Well, there you are. Have you ever wanted to know how to cook instant mashed potatoes using a curry machine? That's oddly specific and time-consuming. Couldn't I just use this convenient instant cup of mashed potatoes and this microwave? Balderdash! Let me tell you what you're gonna need. And these will be the ingredients you will be using. Mikaela will clearly demonstrate them to you. I will! Yes, we don't need this! Milk! Butter! Some water! Salt! Ha! <laughs> you thought. And some instant mashed potato flakes! And where do they all go? Good question. They go in the Keurig. Now, you might ask yourself, why don't you just make some real mashed potatoes? Imagine how long that would take. And we did talk about this earlier, but what about this? Get that out of here. Now, now, we are going to use this cup for our mashed potatoes. So first, you're going to add a tad bit of milk to the bottom of your cup. This is just eyeballing it, just, just a tad. Next, you're going to add some nice potato flakes. We have some in the bag right here, but it probably won't be enough. So we have this other one, which we're going to need to open. But remember, potato boxes have this, so you can pour them. Then open it like this, where you're going to have to glue it back on. Only dummies do that. <laughs> anyway, this is where you put out your little measuring cup and put about a three-fourths cup inside the little cup. Now don't worry about getting exactly three-fourths. It can be adjusted later on if need be. So just going to pour it, pouring it. Was this ironically? Oh. So it just needs a tad bit from the box. Yes, I am I bought. Oh. That that happens. Sometimes it spills. It's not like this and the milk spilled right there. No, no, no. So I have about three fourths here, and we're just gonna put this in the cup. So now you're going to add some butter, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Once again, I'm eyeballing this, and there's no way I can spill this. Mm. 
Now chop off the finger? Maybe. Should I have gotten a better knife? Should I have softened the butter? Maybe. So that, that's there. You put the butter in the cup. And lastly, sprinkle some salt into the cup. Now this water is for the, for the cure egg later on. Now wouldn't you look at that? Come, come. Doesn't that look like butter and mashed potato flakes? Mm-hmm. So now, you might ask yourself, what do we do? Well, walk with me. Wouldn't you look at that? It's a cure egg machine. As you can see, it's already filled with water. Place the cup underneath. Get these lights flashing. And it's very important that you press the little cup, or it's just gonna spill, and you don't want that. And now you wait. we just stir this up and it should look like mashed potatoes we're going to cut a bit because you might going to need to stir it quite a bit and we're back and as you can see this looks like mashed potatoes now sometimes you might use a bit less flakes or you might use a bit more flakes and in the event that you do use more flakes just add some milk and it'll become creamier. And if it's too creamy, just add some more flakes. Really, just adjust, adjust it to whatever you seem fits. Now keep in mind, after it just came out, it's gonna be a little hot. So that's why you take a nice spoonful, you blow on it. Mmm. Hey, do you like mashed potatoes? If you enjoy mashed potatoes, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell.